J-E-L-L-O. The Jell-O program, starring Jack Benny with Johnny Green and his orchestra. The orchestra opens the program with Johnny's own tune, I've Got a Heavy Date. Enjoys the goodness of fresh fruit. Everybody enjoys the fresh fruit goodness of Jello. So why not try combining two for greater all-around enjoyment? You'll find stewed rhubarb and strawberry Jello a delicious combination. Using sliced bananas and fresh strawberries to surround a glistening mold of orange Jello is another grand idea. And for a salad, it's hard to beat cut-up oranges and grapefruit with lemon Jello. Any one or all of these suggestions will bring you Jello's refreshing ripe fruit goodness in a delightful new way. No other gelatin dessert can equal the extra rich fruit flavor of genuine Jell-O. And you'll find that rich, full-bodied taste in all six Jell-O flavors. So if you want the best, always ask for Jell-O by name. Look for the big red letters on the box. They spell Jell-O. Ladies and gentlemen, this is most embarrassing. Uh, Jack Benny hasn't arrived yet, and we've just learned that he still has his act to do at the Fox Theater here in Detroit, where he's appearing all this week. So we'll tune you in directly to the theater and see if we can catch Jack on the stage. Take it away, Tom! Hi there, folks. What's the music on so far? Come to dance, you and sit closer. Let the bank there, clerk and grocer. Let yourself... And now, ladies and gentlemen, this theater takes great pleasure in presenting that popular comedian of stage, screen, and radio, Jack Benny. Well, <laughs> thank you, folks. Thank you. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> really, you overwhelm me. <laughs> Thanks, every one of you. <laughs> well, really, ladies and gentlemen, this is quite an ovation. I hardly know how to start my act. Hmm. <laughs> But I do want to say that it's certainly a pleasure to be working in Detroit. In fact, it's a pleasure to be working anywhere. <laughs> in fact, it's certainly a pleasure. Not for us. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, you again. You know, folks, a funny thing happened to me on the way over to the theater. <laughs> I dropped into a restaurant over on Grand Boulevard for a bite to eat. This will kill you. And I said to the waiter, do you serve shrimps here? <laughs> he said, sure, and we serve big guys, too. That's good. Mm. Well, anyway, as I, was, uh, as I was having my coffee, I said to the waiter, it looks like rain. <laughs> and he says, yeah, but it's coffee. <laughs> I said, it looks like rain, and the waiter said, yeah, but it's coffee. We heard you. Oh, some wise guy sitting out there. Say, do you know who I am? Yeah? Huh? No, what do you do? I'm an artist. I don't have to do anything. You don't? No, artists don't have to work. In Detroit, we call them bums. <laughs> yeah, well, if you think you're so funny, why don't you come up here on the stage? If you don't get off, I will. <laughs> it's embarrassing, folks, really. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you my little partner, the little girl you've all been hearing on our Jell-O program, none other than Mary Livingston. <laughs> I thought there were a lot of people out there. I... Well, go ahead, Mary. Say something. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, they're cold here, aren't they, Jack? They were at first, Mary, but I warmed them up a little bit. <laughs> Shut up. Well, go on, Mary. Here's your public. <laughs> Isn't she cute, folks? Go ahead. Say something funny. Well, <clears throat> 
I walked into a restaurant on Grand uh, uh, Boulevard for a bite to eat, and I said to the waiter, Do you serve shrimp here? Mary, I just told that joke, and it flopped. Quiet. Mm. I said to the waiter, Do you serve shrimp here? And he said, We certainly do. <laughs> You see, Jack, it's the way you tell it. They like me here, don't they? Yeah. Well, I was a big hit in Boston last week. They like me up there. They like beans, too. <laughs> hey, why don't you go home? Why don't you? Mary, go on with the act, will you? And now, ladies and gentlemen, with your permission, I'm going to sing a popular song that I hope you'll all like. It's called Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo." Another bow, Mary. Thank you. And now, uh, and now, folks, uh, how would you like to hear me play "Love and Bloom" on my violin? Uh, take another bow, Jack. Well, folks, I really would love to play, but I'm a little late for our Jello broadcast, and Mary and I have to rush right over to the studio. However, I want each and every one of you in this theater to know that I appreciate the way you received my little offering. You know, money isn't everything to me. If I've brought you a little laughter, a little joy, a little sunshine, I'm satisfied. That's all I want. That's all you'll get. Mm. Come on, Mary, what an audience. They don't appreciate anything subtle anyway. <laughs> Stranger played by Johnny Green and his orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here comes Jack now. Hello, hello, Don. Gee, I'm sorry I'm late, but you know how it is at the theater. Five yeah. shows a day, and the audience is so marvelous there. You know, they <laughs> laugh and they appreciate everything. We, we, we had to take about six encores. No kidding. Yes, sir. Right, Mary? Yes, Jack. We sure made them laugh, didn't I? <laughs> Say, Johnny, have you uh, been over to see my show yet? No, Jack. You see, I'm playing in Pittsburgh myself this week, and I just flew in here today to make the broadcast. Oh, that's right. I forgot you were there. How's business in the theater, Johnny? Oh, swell, Jack. S-R-O. Standing room only, huh? Say, congratulations. Thanks. Say, Johnny, you ought to see Jack on the stage this week. It's S-O-S. What's that? Same old stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Come in. Special delivery for Kenny Baker. Oh, Kenny, here's a special for you. Oh, gee. Who's it from? Well, wait till I open it. Oh, boy, it's from my mother. Your mother? Yes, Mother's Day, and she sent me a check. <laughs> well, now, wasn't, wasn't, that, wasn't that thoughtful? Did you send her anything, uh, Kenny? No, Jack, I forgot. Well, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, particularly on Mother's Day. 
after you've been away from home so long, you shouldn't forget those things. Well, I guess you're right, Jack. Look, Kenny, when you were a baby, who watched over you so tenderly? Who took you to school every day? Who tucked you in your little bed at night? My father. Your father? Yeah, Ma had to work. <laughs> well, anyway, we, we all forget too soon. Why, it seems like only yesterday that we were kids tagging along after Mother. Mary, do you remember your youth? Yeah, I wonder what he's doing now. <laughs> nice talk. <laughs> ah, how time flies. It wasn't so long ago when we were all school kids. Of course, I wasn't lucky enough to go through college like Johnny did, but I, I did attend public school. Well, that's something. Yeah. Yeah. Jack was in second grade so long, the kids thought he was a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kidding, either. Well, here we are, reminiscing, getting sentimental right in the middle of a program. Oh, uh, you know, Jack, I feel in sentimental mood myself tonight. You do, Don? Yes, I like to sit around and reminisce about old times. Well, I guess we all do, you know. Oh, you know, Jack, uh, I can remember years ago when Jell-O was only half as rich as ever before <laughs> and didn't have that extra rich fresh fruit flavor. Too true, Don, too true. Ah, yes. And I can remember when the big red letters on the box were only little red dots. Oh. Just beginning to grow up. Oh, that's right, Don. Gee. And the six delicious flavors were just simple flavors. Little realizing that someday, mm. someday they would grow up to be the most popular dessert in the world. Oh, Don, don't take it to heart, huh? Oh, I guess I'm just an old fool. Yeah. I can't help it, Jack. I know how you feel, Don. I realize that. Gee, I didn't know Don was so tender-hearted. Oh, Mary, he's just an old softy. <laughs> Say, Jack, I think I ought to call my mother up, don't you? Why, certainly, Mary. should have done that this morning. It isn't too late. Gee, I hope she's home. Hello, operator. Give me long distance. Long distance? Get me Plainfield 813. Plainfield 813? Hello, Ma. <laughs> My. See, Ma, I had the hardest time getting you. <laughs> Hmm. You know what day this is, Ma? You don't? Why, this is Mother's Day. That's why I called you. How do you feel, Ma? You don't say. How does she feel, Mary? She don't say. <laughs> uh, say, Mama, uh, did you hear me sing before? How'd you like my voice? Not bad, huh? What's Grace Moore got that I haven't got? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did she say, Mary? She says, who's Grace Moore? <laughs> oh, isn't she cute, Jack? Yeah. Oh, she's just like a mother. Uh, say, Ma, here's something I wrote, a little poem. Once you put me cross your knees, with my back up towards the ceiling, see how you applauded me. <laughs> isn't that awful? Uh, how do you like it so far, Ma? Oh, Ma? Ma? Hello? Hello? Oh, well, I guess you got to get dinner ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the reason, yeah. Say, Kenny, you better uh, do your song now. What are you going to sing? A little number that I want you to hear, Jack. I'm dedicating it to you. You are? Yes. You know, I've enjoyed working with you so much, and gee, you've been so nice to me and everything. Oh, that's all right, Kenny. Gosh, you've been sort of a mother to me, Jack. Mm. <laughs> sing, my boy, sing. Forget to be the 
touch of your hand upon my head, the love in your eyes, the shine, and now at last the moment singing The Touch of Your Lips. Well, Kenny, that song was certainly appropriate. You did something for the mothers of this country tonight. Thanks. Do you mind if I leave now, Jack? I've got a date. You have? Yeah, I'm taking a girl out to dinner. Oh, I see. You want to do something for the daughters of this country, too. Uh, has, she, uh, has she got a friend, Kenny? Yeah. Who is it? Me. Mm. <laughs> well, you can go now, Kenny. Have a good time. I'll shoot the word. Wow! Zip, there goes another bag of peanuts. <laughs> And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, being in Detroit has given us a chance to uh, come in. Hello, Mr. Benny. Remember me? No. That's what I thought. Now I can speak freely. My name is Chiselworth, Chester C. Chiselworth. I represent the Majors Motors Company. Now, how about buying a car while you're here in Detroit, right from the factory? Well, I'm not interested in a car today. You know. You're not? Well, this is the one day you should be. Why? Because it's Motors Day. <laughs> Oh, I, I never thought of that. Huh? Now, let me show you our catalog. Right here is the best buy in America, the Synthetic 7. Yes, sir, what a car. And talk about economy. Why, you can get 15 miles to every 15 gallons of gasoline. Well, I don't need a car right now. And talk about speed. Why, this little car is so fast, it will take your breath away. Take my breath away? What do you do, drive it or gargle with it? <laughs> with this car, you don't need gargles. Our windshields are sunproof, windproof, shatterproof, and bulletproof. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, eh, Mary? Yes, and he's got nice eyes, too. Thanks, lady. Mm. Why, Mr. Benny, this car is practically human. It not only runs, walks, sleeps, and talks, but it wakes you up in the morning. There's a press pants, too. Quiet, Mary. <laughs> and the best part about a Synthetic 7 is this. There's no monotony. Something always happens. It does. Sure. Right? You drive along and wham, something drops off. If it isn't your spare tire, it's the fender, or maybe your rear wheel. Oh, well. But one thing you can always depend on. What's that? The car will be a lot lighter at the end of the trip than it was when you started. I see. You'll love the Synthetic 7, Mr. Benny. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Who's he talking to, Jack? I don't know. He must have the wrong number. Now, look at this car, Mr. Benny. Notice its beautiful lines. Those lovely curves. Oh, look at that streamlined body. I don't know. I like Loretta Young. <laughs> Uh, what's the price of that Synthetic 7? $380. But if you want to go just a little higher, we've got the Synthetic 9. How much is that? $12,000. <laughs> Not a bad jump there. Of course, it? this model is built especially for touring. If you buy this car, you'll get a trailer. What's a trailer, Jack? A man from the finance company. <laughs> No. <laughs> now, as a special inducement, the moment you buy this car, we give you 20 gallons of gas free. What about the oil? He's giving you that now. <laughs> well, you see, Mr. Uh... Chiselworth. Chester C. Chiselworth. Yeah, well, Mr. Chiselworth, I own a car right now that cost me $3,500. Well, the Synthetic 7 is only $380, and we will allow you $2,000 on a trade in. Well, how can you afford that? You pay us in cash, and we give you our check. I see. Well, that sounds okay. Now, why don't you let me give you a little demonstration? Oh, Sam? Yeah? Bring the car in. For heaven's sake, is that it? You said it. Step right in and I'll drive you around the block. Okay, anybody want to go along? No! Well, play, Johnny. I'll be right back.
was that you I'm talking about from the motion picture Florida special played by Johnny Green and his orchestra. Uh, say, uh, Mary, did Jack get back yet? I haven't seen him. Me neither. Well, that's funny. He was only going around the block. Oh, uh, will you answer that, please, Mary? Hello? Yes, this is the Jell-O program. Jack Benny is where? He is? Is it serious? Well, that's good. <laughs> yes, we'll be right over. What's that, Mary? Uh, Jack had a slight accident in the car. They took him to the emergency hospital. We better hurry right over there. We might as well. It's a nice ride anyway. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, nurse. Nurse, where's the doctor? He's coming right over. How do you feel? Rotten. Do you think I'll be here long? Long? They already put the name of the hospital on your stationery. <laughs> Bottle. I'm not thirsty. <laughs> I wish he'd get here. What kind of a doctor is he? I don't know. He's new here. You're his first case. Oh. Uh, there's someone at the door. Shall I see who it is? No, let's guess. Oh, yes, I guess. Uh, uh, hello. Who are you? I'm Mr. Benny's nurse. Oh, pretty nice room Jack has here. It's swell, isn't it? Yes, nice and large. Oh. Uh, have you got a cigarette on you, Don? Yes, here you are, Johnny. Thanks. Gee, I wish we could have played bridge or something. Hello, Jack. Hello, Mary. Uh, where do you keep the card? Card? Oh, my head. Hey, Mary, look at Jack's head. Do you think it's swollen? Not any more than usual. <laughs> oh. Oh, that must be the doctor. Sounds like a horse doctor, doesn't he? <laughs> That sounds good. Real next Wednesday. <laughs> uh, good evening, doctor. Good evening. This one is the patient here. <laughs> the one in the bed, you dope. Oh, it's you. Hello, friends. <laughs> Slepperman, are you a doctor, too? Say, what have I got to lose? <laughs> Well, don't worry, you're my first patient here. And if you die, it wouldn't cost you a penny. But suppose I recover. Then I'll die. Take him up, Jack. All right. Believe me, you won't live to regret it. Now, just a minute while I roll up my sleeve. Now, please, open your mouth wide. There's nothing wrong with my mouth. Say, who's the doctor, me or the you? Open your mouth wide, please. Ah. Wider, wider, wider. Oh. Uh-huh, just like I suspected. What's the matter, Doc? It's dogs down there. <laughs> Some doctor. So listen, uh, do you smoke? Yes. Well, oh, stick out your tongue, please. There. Mm, I thought so. Smoke tongue. <laughs> Say, uh, Nancy. Uh, yes, doctor. Boil me some water, please. I'll have it for you in a minute. Boiling water? What are you going to do? I feel like a hot cup of tea. <laughs> oh, tea. I'll have mine with lemon. Me too. Cream and mine. What do you have, Jack? Another doctor. Quiet, quiet. He's delirious. <laughs> oh, Doc, I, I feel terrible. Can't you do something? All right, I'll fix you up in a jiffy. Now, please, Nancy, give me a mustard plaster. We're all out of mustard. How about mayonnaise? <laughs> Is this a hospital or a delicate essence? <laughs> Say, Doc, look me over quick, will you? What do you charge for a private consultation? Well, my prices are three and five. For three dollars, I just give you a rough idea. But for five dollars, you'll know the inside story. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we ought to do, Doctor? Well, the first thing you got to do is give him two of these pills every hour. Will I do him any good? No, but voice he can't get. <laughs> the next thing, I'll have to take seven stitches in his extingle. <laughs> Yeah. You think you can do it, Doc? Don't worry, I made that coat you're wearing. <laughs> okay, Doc, go ahead. But, gee, I'm so weak. Yeah, let me see. Why, this man is too weak. What he needs is a transfusion. He does? By golly, I think you're right. Who'll be the first to volunteer for a transfusal? Not me. I'm too thin now. How about you, Johnny? I'd like to, Jack, but you know how anemic I am. Hey, Doc, what about you? No, not tonight. It's your party. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll do it. Jack is my pal. Go ahead, Doctor. Do your duty. Okay, Doc, okay, now give me your right arm. 
Thank you. Gee, Don, you're all right. I know Jack will pay you back someday. First, I will have to give the patient some ether. Ether? Never mind that herring you ate will do the trick. <laughs> Well, now, here goes. Now, hold still, please. Let the song go. There you are. Hooray! Wilson, you saved him. How do you feel now, Jack? Let me tell you about Jell-O with its six delicious flavors. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. A Jell-O, a Jell-O, a Jell-O, mm, a Jell-O. I a gave jello. him too much Wilson, please, on. <laughs> If you like ice cream, and who doesn't, just listen to this. Jell-O is introducing a new product to metropolitan New York and New England. It's Jell-O ice cream mix, a simple modern way of making extra fine ice cream. You can get Jell-O ice cream mix in five delicious flavors, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, tutti frutti, and orange pineapple. The three fruit juices are actual cut up fruits in their own sweetened juices. The vanilla and chocolate syrups are thick, rich, and mellow. Each flavor freezes to a grand, satin-smooth texture in the trays of your automatic refrigerator. Just open a can of Jell-O ice cream mix, add some milk and some whipped cream, pour it into the trays of your refrigerator, stir just once, and you'll soon have six generous servings of ice cream that's superb. Deluxe ice cream, the best you've ever tasted. Ask your grocer for Jell-O ice cream mix tomorrow, and if he hasn't put it in stock yet, be sure he orders it for you. But don't accept any substitutes because there's no better way of making luscious luxury ice cream than with Jell-O ice cream mix. Uh, this is the last number in the 33rd program of the new Jell-O series. And we'll be with you again next Sunday night at the same time broadcasting from New York City. And I do hope that all you mothers had a very happy holiday. And you know, folks, I'll let you in on a little secret. We were only kidding before. I wasn't in a hospital. Say, Jack. What, Mary? Uh, there's a fellow out here who claims you owe him two dollars. I owe him two dollars? Who is he? Oh, I'll see you later. Good night, folks. This program has come to you from the Venetian Room of the Book Cadillac Hotel through the facilities of station WXYZ Detroit. During the program, we have heard Let Yourself Go from Follow the Fleet and Love in Bloom from She Loves Me Not. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>